My name is Captain 37, and in this presentation, I'm going to take you through this paper. Question number seven. In Roman numerals, the number 1,643 can be written as, we've been given options, and these options are A, B, C, and D. How do you write Roman numerals? Do you remember? You should remember. I stands for 1. V stands for 5. X stands for 10. L stands for 50. C stands for 100. D stands for 500. And M stats, stands for 1000. So we already know that the first letter is going to be M because this is in its thousand. So it's going to be M, 1000. That's where we're going to start. Then 500, we're going to get D and write 500. Why 500? Because there is no direct way of writing 600 in Roman numerals. And so the closest biggest number to 600 is 500. And then to that 500, we add 100. So we're going to add C to make it 600. The number that we're then remaining with is 43. Now, there is again no direct way of writing 43. The biggest number to 43 is 50. Because 43 is 43. The biggest number is 50. And 50, how do you write 50? 50 is written by D. No, not D. I've made a mistake. It's not D. 50 is written by L. But what we want is 43. We can get 40 by taking away X, which is 10, from the 50. And how is that written? Whenever you write a smaller letter in front of a bigger letter, what is happening is you are subtracting. So, for example, if I write I, X, this stands for 4 because I is smaller than X. Equally, if I write X, which stands for 10, in front of L, this stands for 40. So, we know that XL is going to be equal to 40. Now the number that we're interested in is 3. And 3 is written by III, which is equal to 3. How then can we write this number in Roman numerals? We have already done that. We are just going to combine these together. And so the answer is going to be M, M first, M, then D, then C, then X, L, then I, I, I. Is this anywhere here? Let's check that. Is it? We are going to check. Is it A? It is not A. Is it B? It is not B. Is it C? Yes. The answer is C. Question number eight. The numbers 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and 24 are multiples of... So let me just create some space here um, so that you can see where I am writing. Okay. I'll leave that so that you can see what I wrote before. Okay. So a multiple... If you think of the multiplication table, if you think of the multiplication table... And you get the number 3. 3 times 1 is equal to 3. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. The multiples are numbers when you multiply them, they give you a particular number, like in this particular case. These are multiples of 3. 
And so we can already see from these particular options that we've been given that the answer to this particular question is A.